To make this mask, you will need the following. Two 25 cm by 25 cm square pieces of fabric, a sharp pair of scissors, a ruler, a pen that can write on cloth, a needle and thread, and two 20 cm pieces of elastic. If you haven't got elastic, you can use shoelaces, string, or even cut out 20 cm of fabric from an old t-shirt. You'll also need a box of pins and a plastic bag to keep the mask in between use. To start, place your two pieces of fabric on top of each other, making sure the edges join up. You can always give them a little trim now if needed to make sure they line up evenly on both sides. Once you're happy, make a marking on both sides of the top and bottom exactly 0.75 cm in. Now grab your needle and thread and a set of pins and fold over the top at the 0.75 cm marking that's just been made and use the pins to hold the folding in place. This will help when we start sewing. Do the same with the bottom edge. We're ready to start sewing. Use the needle and thread to sew together the folds we've just created. Remember to remove the pins, otherwise you'll get a nasty surprise when you put the mask on. Once you've sewn the two ends, flip the fabric over. And now on the other sides we haven't sewn, mark one and a half centimeters along each side and draw a line. Place the elastic or string along the line you've just drawn and fold the fabric over. Use pins to help keep them in place and begin stitching this together. Once this is stitched together, tie the string or elastic together and these will be the ear loops to your mask. Now the mask is ready. You can pop it on, placing the loops over your ears. If the loops are too big, you can make them smaller by retying them and trimming the excess if needed. Remember to wash the mask after every use. It can go in the laundry and you can use normal detergent. It's important that in between uses you store your mask in a plastic bag to protect it from germs. 